let's talk Kim just for a second. Spoilers ahead, obviously, for Better Call Saul, Breaking Bad. Um, these past few episodes have just been absolutely incredible. Um, from season three, you have Nacho's Demise. Season seven, you have Howard. And season eight, you have Lala. Now with only five episodes left, you have two characters that we don't know what's going to happen. We have one, Gene Takovich, and he is um, Jimmy McGill or Saul Goodman after Breaking Bad. We see him in um, future um, areas of the show when he got a new identity from the disappear and another character is kim now with kim it is so weird because we don't know what's going on we have many different um rumors and uh, just ideas what she where she is in breaking bad and the main one is she's working behind the scenes or she's in jail a lot of people think that they are afraid to kill off Kim, which is not true. I mean, they killed in Breaking Bad. They've killed people like Hank, like Gomez, Gus, Mike. They've killed these, these characters that everybody loves. And I have honestly have not seen a single person anywhere who's hated Kim. I'm sure within the first three seasons, it was a little hard to like her because she wasn't quite in that role that she is in now. I think at the end of season three, season four, season five, and now season six, she has progressed into this, this character that it is so hard to dislike. And as we see in this series, whether it's Better Call Saul, Breaking Bad, or El Camino, you see the good guys do not last. In season six, episode seven, you saw Mike's reaction to Howard's death as he looked down on the bodies of Lalo and Howard. He saw almost like guilt, like he pulled the trigger because good guys do not last, unfortunately, in these series. Now, I'm not saying Kim is good. She's, she is becoming a con artist, obviously. We've seen through the past many episodes of the making of what they wanted, what Jimmy and Kim wanted Howard to become, which was seemingly a coke addict, right? To get the money from that settlement. But the thing is with Kim, she is still battling whether she wants to be, like she said, in front of the cartel or not, which is very, it's a yes or no question. But the thing is with her, she doesn't want to get involved in the cartel, like what Jimmy is. Now, she knew Lala was alive, but she, not, she did not tell Jimmy. She knew the involvement with Mike because of those men watching her. She did not tell Jimmy. Will these things come back and bite her in the behind? That is the real question. That's what I want to talk about tonight. For tonight's episode, rather. And this picture I have seen, and I'm going to show it to you right now. And this is the picture that I am very afraid about. Now, there are so many things going on with Kim. And like I said before, there's rumors, there's <laughs> theories, there's everything you can think of. Ice Station Zero. Is she behind that? It is her it is her father's favorite movie. Right? She's invested. She knows all the favorite parts, all the good parts of the movie shown in an episode. I cannot remember. But they were watching it. Jimmy and Kim were watching it together. She's like, oh watch this part, watch this part. She is fully understandable. And it shows up in Better Call Saul. It shows up in Breaking Bad with Walton Skyler. Now, is she behind the scenes? Potentially. We don't know that for a fact. 
my guess is absolutely my theory is yes she's definitely behind that behind the scenes in better call saw vince gilligan said you will see better a breaking bad different as better call saw comes to an end we already see what happens at the end of season six episode eight which was when lalo and howard were buried under the meth lab that i predicted a long time ago and i am just I'm kind of surprised that I did predict it because I don't really predict a lot of things on shows. So when I did that, I was really proud of myself. But that's, forget that. But what I'm saying is, it is just, I look at that show so differently because the meth lab has such a different meaning. It is just, what you're, you're, it's almost like the ultimate revenge for Gus because Hector's family is buried under that lab and he is making more money than you can ever think and that's what obviously people get into this business for for money and power and mouth i mean that's they don't do it for fun i think um now this picture i'm going to get into detail season six episode three we see the domino we see the six and on the bottom it says three that is the episode nacho died that episode revolves around him now Season 6, Episode 7, we see Howard hold up a piece of paper. It's a 7. Now, this means the 7th episode, Season 6, obviously. That is the episode where he dies. And now, on in the back of Lalo, you see a 68, Season 6, Episode 8. That is the episode he dies in. Now, on the right side, you will see a picture of Kim and the numbers 609. This is a, it's, it's giving you a, I think almost a confirmation that Kim will see her demise tonight. I think it is all but confirmed at this point because of this visual. I don't think you can get really more telling as a visual, like as a viewer. I really, I think this is just it. I think that's it. Personally, I think she's dead tonight. And I was thinking about this last video or last episode, I'm sorry. Um, just how how are they gonna write Kim? You know, it's been a theory since episode one. Who is Kim? And obviously they go on to get married. Kim and Jimmy go on to get married and they're they're having a life and they're doing all these these calls and they're having a great time and you can see that it for some reason romantically puts them together when they create these cons, like they did with Howard. The thought of it in the season finale of season five. Just the thought of it got them aroused, which by all means, everyone has their kinks, but that's not, that's not my point. My point is, how are they going to write Kim off? Who is going to kill her? Because if it's a meaningless death, like, no offense, a car accident, that's boring. We want to see drama, and this show, I think, is better than Breaking Bad. That's just my opinion. I, we like to see drama and drama the past two seasons for Better Call Saul I think has just beat out Breaking Bad I think personally because you almost know what's going to happen but you also don't know what's going to happen that's the thing with prequels because you've built on these characters for years now longer than Breaking Bad more seasons than Breaking Bad but you don't know what's going to happen everyone says maybe the Ed the Disappearer took him away because she got the black book they're in one of the first episodes of season six we don't know that it was shown in the opener of season six um in jimmy's house and we never saw jimmy's house in breaking bad but that is i'm pretty sure it was confirmed that that house in the beginning was jimmy's house but we don't know what's gonna happen to kim what is this true about her death well we don't know for a fact 
this could be the last episode we see Kim in at this time, which I believe is 2004. Um, and she could perhaps show up later with Jean. And that's another theory for another day. I want to see what happens tonight. Therefore, we can predict the future. And Breaking Bad. Uh, Saul tells Francesca to call this number on his birthday at this specific time. Now, is that Kim? Or is it just some random person? Because it can't be Howard. It can't be his brother. It can't be Gus. It can't be Mike. Maybe it's Jesse. Maybe it's Skylar. There are so many different possibilities. But the thing is, why would... Saul call Jesse. Why would Saul call Skylar? I feel like Kim is the number one person to call in this situation. Just like the most popular scene wasn't me, it was uh, it was Ignacio. And Lala didn't send you guys, whatever. Let's set up Better Call Saul. Now, this could just be a throwaway scene. We, I could just be overthinking it personally, but I kind of doubt that. I think there are, there are so many possibilities for who is on the other end of this line and are they in the Better Call Saul universe as we know maybe it's his family some relative of his cousin something I don't know maybe he has a long lost sister we don't know these things but I think it is Kim on the other end of that phone that's why I think she is going to survive this episode so I'm on the fence here guys I don't know if this is true with the 609 sign in the back I don't want to believe it's true. I don't want to believe that this is actually happening. I want to think that Kim will make it out of Better Call Saul. And that's, I think that's my final statement. I think she won't die, but she will progress as of right now into the Breaking Bad universe. I think she will live. After the last episode of Breaking Bad, I don't feel confident in saying anything else i think as of 2004 to breaking bad breaking bad's end i think kim is going to be alive i could be wrong i don't want to be wrong okay i want her to live because she has grown to be one of my favorite characters i think season six episode eight just just the, the combination of fear and anxious i i think she might have stole the show for that episode and i'm not even joking even though lala was in it gus was at one of his best because he was just just great act i, I don't th I, the thing is with these episodes there has not been a single bad actor it's hard to pick out who's the best but kim honestly stole the show and giving up on an actor like that can drive people away from watching the show which from a money-making point, might not be the best idea. Storytelling might be a better idea. Do they bite the bullet? Do they kill Kim off? Do they write her off? We don't know. I cannot wait for tonight. I've been waiting what feels like forever, but it's only been a week and it's crazy. Oh, I digress. I'm excited to see what happens tonight. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoy. See you next time.